What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about how to film skateboarding. So I filmed all these clips as a test to see which camera was more stable. So all these GoPro clips, I'm just running while filming. My filming setup for these clips is the GoPro Hero 6 mounted on the Zhiyun crane. The reason I'm using the GoPro Hero 6 is it has the best in-body stabilization I've found in a camera. So it takes that bump out of the video. But it's not very good if your hand makes those really quick involuntary movements. And you, just, you can't help that, especially if you're moving fast or running. So that's where the gimbal comes in. So especially if you mount it at the bottom of the gimbal like this, it's very, very stable. Now, when I turn this, even if I turn it really quick, the gimbal is gonna make a slow, smooth movement. So that takes out those really quick jerks and movements. Also, the gimbal is gonna compensate for me running. It's gonna compensate for a lot of that movement. So even though I'm running as fast as I can, and I'm not even skating in these clips, I'm just running and filming, the footage is really smooth, like a dolly shot or some kind of a crane shot. I'm gonna talk a little bit about cameras, gimbals, and techniques I use when I'm filming skateboarding. And hopefully this will help you when you're out there filming skateboarding. So have you ever been trying a skateboard trick and you have your friend film it or maybe your friend's trying the trick and you're filming it? Either way, the trick is successfully landed. But then you go back and look at the footage and the filmer completely missed the shot. Or maybe it's just shaky and it's so shaky that it's unpleasant to watch. So there are these things called gimbals. Gimbals stabilize video. I've been using gimbals on drones for maybe a decade and I've been using regular gimbals for about three years now. Have you seen videos like Nija's new part? That was filmed with a gimbal and the cool thing about gimbals is you don't have to actually be skating to film those tricks. So say somebody's doing a big handrail and you have to run down through the grass, you can do that with a gimbal and you can run and it's still steady. It's really hard to film somebody while you're ollieing a big set of stairs. You could get hurt or you're, you're probably gonna miss the shot. So if you're filming a trick down a double set, it's hard to skate and ollie that set, you know, keep the footage stable while landing and then film the next trick on the next set. But with a gimbal, you can run down the first set while you're filming, you could be in front of them or behind them. It makes it easier to get a better angle and then you can actually keep running down the next set and film that as well. My favorite gimbal is the Zhiyun Crane. It's just really easy to use and it's really reliable. You know you're gonna get smooth footage. There are also things called steady cams, but they're garbage, especially for skateboarding. You can't use a steady cam for skateboarding because skateboarding involves a lot of movement. And with a lot of movement, steady cams are very shaky. So compared to any camera I've ever used, the GoPro Hero 6 has the best in-body stabilization. When I compare it to the in-body stabilization in my main camera, the A7S II, it just blows it away. The in-body stabilization in the GoPro Hero 6 looks like a gimbal in itself, but coupled with a gimbal, the footage is amazing. There are times when it's way better to be skating when you're filming, especially if you have to go really fast and you're going in the same direction but you can get really cool angles when you're not on a skateboard. You can actually run around the person and get different angles that you would never be able to get if you were skating. 
The next camera I'm going to talk about is the DJI Osmo. This is a camera I talk a lot about on my other channel. I have a channel where I just do tutorials on photography and video. So this is the DJI Osmo. It's a camera from a drone company. It's got a built-in gimbal. It's really small. And it's similar to the Zhiyun Crane. It takes out a lot of those quick movements and it helps stabilize the video. You have to get the Z-axis. It's an extra purchase on top of the Osmo and that takes out that up and down. If you have the Z-axis, it is more stable than the GoPro if you're going slow. But you really can't run with the DJI Osmo. It goes all over the place. It's way less stable if you're moving fast. Another thing about the Osmo is it's very fragile. If you're filming skateboarding, you want a camera that's tough. So if somebody hits the Osmo, it's probably going to break. Boards hit my GoPro all the time, and I've never seen a GoPro break. I've never even seen the lens get scratched. I had a GoPro on an old drone a long time ago fall from about 250 feet in the air, and it didn't break. I'm still using it. So you can get a lot closer and get a wider shot with the GoPro, but the Osmo looks more realistic. The GoPro is always going to look like an action cam. What I mean by that is the lines are straighter and it's less distorted on the Osmo. Also, if you don't have enough money for either of these cameras, then just use your phone. It's fine too. There are situations where you can't use a gimbal at all. If there's just too much gravity, you know, you're skating a bowl, you're dropping in, you're filming somebody really fast. A gimbal might not be able to keep up with that much movement or that kind of force. So in those situations, I use a camera mounted on a pole, usually a GoPro, because if you're in a situation where you can't use a gimbal, it's probably not a safe situation to take an expensive camera. So with the GoPro, you can be really rough on it. This is my pole mount for the GoPro. I've got a really bright light on here so I can film in the dark. And then I've got my phone. You can actually get on the GoPro app and you can watch what you're filming while you film it. Even if the camera is really far away. So when that's extended, I can get a really low angle and I don't have to bend down. I can just stand up straight and uh, I can tilt this any way I want it and get a really good angle. And it's a wide angle lens. You put it on super view and it's like a fisheye. So this can be a really useful tool even when you're filming at night because you can mount lights on there. Another cool thing about GoPros is you can mount them on your head and film yourself if you don't have a filmer. Another cheap way to stabilize your video is using a handle. You can get them at Walmart, Best Buy, eBay, or your local camera store. And you can get a really low angle with a handle. You really have to be skating to film with a handle. So make sure you're really good at skateboarding and you can keep up with whoever you're filming. But it's a really useful tool. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the DJI Osmo and the GoPro Hero 6. So another thing I like about the GoPro is it's wider. You can get a wider angle, you can go to wide or super view. So one major problem with the GoPro is sometimes it just doesn't work. I'm gonna get on my phone and do an update on my GoPro because while I was filming with it, some of the clips worked. Sometimes with the new GoPro, I'll go to record and the camera is still busy processing the last video I recorded. That could be a problem if you really need to get the shot right then. You can wait 30 seconds, pull the battery out, put it back in, and it will work just fine. But if you've been trying a trick all day, and when you finally land it, the GoPro just decides not to record that clip, that could be a real problem. The GoPro is the most convenient, easy to use camera. It's definitely easier to get 
good footage on the GoPro Hero 6 than any other camera I've ever used. You don't have to think about filming because it does a great job at stabilizing the video. All the auto features are great. It does a great job keeping focus. Well, everything's in focus. The auto white balance is great. The auto exposure is good. It's really quick at changing if it gets lighter or darker. And it stabilizes the video better than any camera I've ever seen. So if you want to get good footage really fast and easy, I would use a GoPro. Now if you want a camera that's actually dependable and you know is going to actually film the clips when you hit record, I would go with a cheap entry level DSLR like a T3i. A Canon T3i is going to last forever and it's very dependable. The files aren't that big so when you push record it's going to record. Now the T3i doesn't have 4K 60 frames a second. It doesn't have 1080 240 frames a second like the GoPro Hero 6 and it doesn't have in-body stabilization. But if you get an Opteca 6.5 millimeter fisheye and put it on a DSLR camera, cameras are way more stable when they have fisheye lenses or very wide angle lenses. So it's going to look a lot better if you put a fisheye on there. Grip tape. This is a random number generator on the internet. I'm going to go over to the video. It looks like there are 32 comments. So I'm just going to put 32 in the random number generator. Oh, what happened? It looks like I didn't have uh, the number lock on my computer. So I'm going to put 32 in and see who won. So number five, we're going to see the fifth comment from the top. It looks like it's Miss Grimm or MS Grimm. So I'm going to contact this person on YouTube through a message and I make sure they have their parents permission and then I'm going to send the grip tape. The last one of these I did, I actually sent the grip tape to Mexico and the person sent me a picture and it looks like they got it okay. So it worked out well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and just videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, then hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.